Today we are visiting St. Lawrence Market in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. The market is in the St. Lawrence Market South Building. The Farmer's Market is in a canopy just south and it only opens on Saturday. We will also visit it today. St. Lawrence was the site of Toronto's first City Hall. In 1899, the City Hall was moved to Bay and Queen. St. Lawrence was rebuilt in 1902 and became a public market. The front of the original City Hall was kept, along with the two small upper floor areas on each side, and became Market Kitchen and Market Gallery today. Here is a view from the Market Kitchen, a cooking school located in the mezzanine. It's Saturday morning and the crowds are starting to come in. It's getting vibrant and bustling with energy. Coming down from the market kitchen is Churrasco St. Lawrence. They serve Portuguese foods. Here they are, the famous Portuguese tart. And their delicious homemade sauce that goes with their grilled chicken. Paddington's is the only sit down restaurant with full service in the market. Here's Sausage King. Peter's book sells health foods. Now we're at the world famous Carousel Bakery. It's known for its female bacon sandwich. People line up for their sandwich all day. The kitchen is super busy. Heaps and layers of female bacon. Look, the lady is piling it up for me. Thank you. You get to choose your own sauce. I chose honey mustard. So much bacon. Delicious. Chris Cheesemonger is the cheese specialist. My favorite is espresso coffee cheese. Here is Urban Fresh Produce. It's the new store in the market. St. Lawrence Pizza and Pasta. Their pasta is freshly made on site. You can eat here or take them home. They even sell sauces too. Buster Seacove always has the longest lineup at lunch. It's located right behind the fish stalls. People want to try the fresh fish they just saw on the displays. Look at their great menu. I'm choosing the grilled octopus. It's sizzling on the grill now. It's well worth the wait. Let's go out to eat. The octopus is incredibly tender. Perfectly cooked and seriously delicious. Tables and seating are available around the building, along the east, west, and south side at the mezzanine. Let's go back into the market and explore the fish section. Mike's Fish Market. They carry all types of fish available in Canada.
Everything is so fresh. I feel like a fisherman at sea. Look, they even have soft shell crab. What a delight. These king crab legs are the size and length of my arm. Don't forget the oyster bar. Seafront fish market. Oysters, clams, mussels, and lobsters. Abundance from the seas. St. Urbain is famous for its Montreal-style bagels, baked in wood-fire ovens, fresh and chewy. Business is always good here. Right out of the oven. Alex Farm carries cheese from all over the world. Delicios is a high-end meat store. Look at those cuts. Super special today is Australian Wagyu. They even have a meat Asian cabinet. Right around the corner is White House Meats. I think I'm getting the meat sweats. And you mustn't forget the wine shop. Shuffler's is famous for its deli meats. Like many shops in the market, it's a family business. It is run by the Gunalakis and their three children. Olympic cheese has been around since 1958. A great selection of olives. Beanster is a cheese brand from Holland. Antipasto. Cream cheese, feta cheese, goat's cheese. Wheels of cheese, slabs of cheese. You name it, they've got it. Anton Koslick sells Canadian mustard. They carry a huge selection. La Boucherie is run by Spiros and his family. Spiros Sr. began his career at the market 40 years ago. Sweeping the floor at the butcher shop he now owns. If you're lucky, you can find veal bones here to make demi-glaze sauce. It's difficult to find veal bones in the city. Next to the Jarvis Street exit, there are two produce stores next to each other. Family Food Market on the east side, Pones Foods on the west.
They have great rapport with customers, and their staff are extremely courteous. Nice fiddleheads! The parsnips are beautifully arranged. Fresh morel mushroom? What is the asparagus? Panesse is the only original store that remains in the market and has been at the same location for 120 years. What a great selection of mushrooms, morels, king oysters, shiitake, chanterelles, Fruits are always so joyful to see. They're so colorful. Almost like flowers. Cherry tomatoes, my favorite. A collection of exotic tropical fruits. Asparagus must be in season. Three bunches for $5? This stair leads to the market gallery. The gallery space was formerly the old city council chamber. It hosts rotational exhibits now. The story of a market is not complete without a king. Here is the king of the berries. It refers to the owner of Panes, Mario Arici. He started working at Panes at the age of nine for 50 cents a day. 17 years later, in 1985, he ended up owning the store. His kingdom extends all the way to the entrance of the market. Let's explore the middle aisle. Pigtails. Future Bakery is located right in the middle of the market. It's split into two. Desserts on one side and breads on the other. Look beyond, above the archway. It's the remnant of the old city hall city chamber. Placewares on the right carries every kitchenware you can think of. Let's go downstairs. Eve's Temptation is located right in front of the stairs. They have some of the best desserts in town. The lower level used to be a jail in the 19th century. Now they are where the hidden treasures are. Top-notch ingredients around the world in lively life. Coffin tea at Everyday Gourmet. Dinster serves Ukrainian foods. Aren't we sweet? Harborfront carries organic produce. Uni Mustachio has the best chicken and veal sandwich with eggplant. The eggplant is the star. They are called the Godfathers. Definitely best in town. We buy at least two to take home every time. Craping it up.
Caviar Direct carries luxurious truffles, caviar, and smoked salmon. Cocoa Pod Sighting. Try the sushi and tempura at Quick Sushi. The Stone Mill Bakehouse gets the crowd daily. Breads are baked on site every day. Honey World on the left. Monato specializes in authentic Latin American foods. Try their guacamole and salsas. Yanni's spinach feta cheese pie. Let's go visit the farmer's market. It's a temporary market while the north building is being rebuilt. It houses the farmer's market on Saturdays. As we stroll through the market, we feel the farmer's love and passion for their produce. Fresh produce from the local farms. Some are picked just the night before. Vendors and farmers are super friendly. Homemade bread. All types of condiments and sauce. The market closes at three o'clock. Don't go too late, as everything will be sold by early afternoon. I actually feel like I'm at the farm. Look how big those strawberries are. Our haul of the day. The Godfather sandwiches from Uno Mustachio. St. Lawrence Market was rated number one food market in the world by National Geographic. The market reflects the melting pot culture and way of life of Toronto. Come to St. Lawrence Market and visit Toronto's finest food offerings. If you like this video, please subscribe, like, and share. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.